So let's talk about the the Oscars, I guess, at this point, because of course we need to. So um, not too long ago, I, I'm not entirely sure. Like this video is being recorded the day after the Oscars, so I'm not entirely sure when I'm when I'm going to upload it. But I still wanted to talk about it regardless. So the Oscars saw a little bit of Japanese influence, and I wanted to kind of like give my give my perspectives. First off, congratulations to Godzilla minus one for winning uh, best special effects. That is just like <laughs> just just uh, hopefully it's a lesson for Hollywood that you can do a lot with just the right amount of stuff. You know, you don't need like this five hundred million bajillion dollars to make a movie. You just need quality. It's not about quantity. It's about quality. So congratulations to Godzilla minus one. Now with that said. I want to say something very, very clear. I have not taken the Oscar seriously in years. <laughs> I, uh, I really don't. Like, me as a film editor, would I want an Oscar for film editing? Yes, I would, 100%. Do I think it's reflective of the merits? No. I don't think, uh, I think Oscars are are bought in more like a popularity contest than anything else. So what I'm talking about right now, congratulating Godzilla Minus One and the next topic that I'm going to touch on is not necessarily because I think like Godzilla Minus One is deserving of the special effects only. Like realistically speaking, it should have been nominated for best foreign picture as well as like better screenplay um best screenplay i mean and stuff like that but obviously that wasn't the case so let's let's go ahead and pretend that i give a shit about the oscars for once and i'm gonna talk about the oscars as if they were a thing to take seriously that that i believed every single uh award was giving for merit and not because they gave more money and consideration and stuff like that Sometimes the, the award goes to just the safe bet, like Oppenheimer, for example. Anyways, with that said, let's talk about the major drama. The meltdown that happened with the voice actor from Miles Morales that went on Twitter to say that they were robbed because the boy and the heron from Studio Ghibli was the winner. Now, here's the thing. I've, I've talked plenty of times that... Uh, the Boy and the Heron is not a good movie, but a fantastic, like a masterpiece video autobiography. So before I go on to to talk about the drama and everything, I just want to make, make it clear why I say what I say. And it's because Hayao Miyazaki, when he made The Boy and the Heron, which its original style or ori original title is How to Live, it was changed here in the United States as The Boy and the Heron. The, uh, the, the, the movie that he made was not a movie necessarily intended to give a message. It was a very personal touch. It was a very personal movie that he created where I did a little bit of digging to research the symbolisms and the metaphors that he uses in said movie. And as an autobiography, that is what he wanted to do. He wanted to do a movie for him is a masterpiece but as a movie for general audiences it's not necessarily that good so i can see why a lot of people do think that it was not deserving of winning or that it's mid and shit like that anyways with that said the voice actor for uh for my mile morales from across the uh, across the spider-verse um said that they were robbed like they, they needed to win and that the boy and the heron did not deserve to win. So I want to throw my burrito on the table and just kind of speak my truth. Uh, I think that in a world where uh, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse went against the boy and the heron, which one would win as, as, as the better picture? So here's where I stand. I think, I think, 
Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse has a more cohesive story. And in terms of animation, is superior to The Boy and the Hero. So I honestly think that the animation for Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse is some of the best animation in the world, period. It's a masterpiece in terms of animation. And the story is definitely more cohesive. The Boy and the Hero is a masterpiece, but a different level. It's a personal masterpiece. I can see why the Oscars would choose The Boy and the Heron, obviously, because, you know, we're talking about the artistic merit of Studio Ghibli. This is an intricate and artistic piece, and we are artists and whatever the fuck. Um, so I gotta say, I honestly find it very difficult to pick one over the other because if we went by animation standards, Across the Spider-Verse would slap the boy and the hair on around. If we go on like legacy, like which which of those pieces into the Spider-Verse, Across the Spider-Verse or the boy and the hair on, which one is going to be studied? like for generations as a his as a historical not historical but like as a as a piece that symbolized the beginning or the end of an era i would say a hundred percent would be the boy and the heron because of what the boy and the heron represents what it gives to the to the film community now into the spider verse or across the across the spider verse enhances what into the spider verse did and makes it better but the one that actually started this this was into the spider verse which did win the oscar i believe so what is the point of this video why am i like ranting about this first because the actor the voice actor of Miles Morales needs to shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, dude, it's fine. Like, you have work. Uh, yes, I know you wanted your movie to win the Oscar, but you went about it in the most pathetic of ways, period. And then, like, also to say Godzilla Minus One should have won way more shit. <laughs> but it's not like the, the Oscars are any... And, and anything serious to 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 listen to and third for the boy and the heron uh, like I, I i do think that's a piece that should 100 percent be preserved because it is the movie that hiyao miyazaki did for him and what that movie uh the boy and the heron represents it's more than just a movie it's way more so it needs to be respected as such. Anyways, that's my rant. Thank you for listening. Let me know in the comments which one you like and which one you didn't. Now, as a side note, one of the movies that was nominated for the Oscar was Robot Dreams, I believe, about a dog and a, and a little robot and stuff like that. Everything that I've heard about that movie is that that movie is the one that needed to win. Like, it, it's just infinitely better than every other one. I don't know. Haven't seen it. All right. That's it. Bye.